Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Yesterday's footies brought an insane 99 rated player SBC that so many people are crafting, but others are waiting until today's SBC content to see if that one special upgrade pack becomes unlimited repeatable. And in other news, EA have confirmed something massive about this last week of footies related to SBCs, and it could mean there's some crazy icon SBCs coming this week, which is really exciting but it also might be a bad thing i want to talk about that in today's video there's a ton of stuff to discuss guys about footies team number five and what this last week is going to look like especially before today's 84 times 10 and 85 times 10 refresh so if you're excited and ready for those to become unlimited today drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you're new now we have a lot to go over from yesterday's footies content so let's get to doing that with the objectives to start off guys we didn't have any new gameplay modes like a cup or a draft objective that we had in the past week ea kept it simple with only the foot champs play still there for us but we did get the first 99 overall Footy's objective player, Mallory Swanson, this card actually might be pretty cracked. Whether you look at this as a basically free fodder card for a very high rated SBC inside of Eusebio, which we'll look at in a minute, or an actually meta super sub or start on your team, finesse plus, press proven, rapid plus, and first touch, five star, five star, 99 pace and 98 dribbling. She's probably going to be insane with the left stick dribbling and a really, really good card in game. Every single ball control play style, also with quick step, and relentless and pretty easy to get play seven games win six matches not that difficult that's a pretty cool 99 overall objective card there we also have a 97 rated Thierry Correa card also could be fodder maybe it's usable for you anticipate plus and really not the best play style pluses on the rest of the card but it does have intercept and press proven as well as whipped pass and pinged pass plus or ping pass regular but inside of this daily play objective again we do have 96 rated cards which would be very helpful for high rated SBCs once again a couple of these look pretty usable if I'm being honest the Gabby Nunez and the Weir don't look too bad but I think a lot of us will probably be using those of course as fodder cards so that is the objective section as of yesterday a little bit quieter than I thought it was going to be no cup nothing along those lines it's more of the focus on the gameplay in foot champions also maybe could be because the season is ending this next Thursday now let's go to evolutions where the content continued yesterday with only one new Eva. I was hoping that we would get two, right? That's kind of been the trend on Promo Fridays. But the one that we had was actually pretty good. The Footy's Ultimate Defense Evo. Guys, in my opinion, this Evo is not as good by itself as it is chained with other evolutions. 95 rated maximum rating for this, which is awesome. It does not upgrade pace or shooting, but it gives plus twos. In passing, dribbling, plus three defense and plus three physical, along with intercept playstyle, block playstyle, and bruiser playstyle plus. So definitely made for those defenders, of course. That's the whole point of this. But you can create some pretty crazy cards from this. Honestly, this Havertz combination Evo that you can do might be one of the most busted cards as a part of this. The 96 rated Tots Alive Havertz that almost everybody did back then. He's an insane card. If you haven't upgraded him already, he could go into the ultimate defense evo which is this one but then you can also go into the footies premium upgrade two free evos to take him to a 97 pace 98 pass 98 dribble center mid striker cam left back wherever you want to play him that's a really really insane combo evo right there for havertz there's plenty of cards even sergio ramos a lot of people are completing because it's the best evo diversion for him as well he goes to 98 defense and 96 physical that's a pretty crazy card there's a lucio evo a saliba evo in here as well i'm gonna do this weston mckenney personally because i'm still fil uh, figuring out some players for the usa team so he's gonna go into the footies ultimate defense and then the footies premium upgrade so if you saved your footies premium upgrade it's actually coming in very very helpful because a 95 rated player or a 94 rated player in here goes to a 96 and then a 96 can still go into this so that's where i think the chain aspect of this is really really nice bruiser plus you know it's okay but the intercept and the block regular play styles are really nice to have too maybe some of the defenders you're going to put into this already have them but for mckenny i guess he has intercept he doesn't have block but bruiser plus will be nice for him to upgrade that and of course the stat boost will make the card very usable now it is pretty easy too in terms of games win two 
play three, and win three. So not that many games to get that one done. Honestly, that, that's a really solid eval. Again, it's not amazing by itself. It is for some cards. It's best combined with other evolutions, but I have no problem with that. Now let's go to the SBC section where we had the biggest piece of content yesterday. You've already seen it, and I've already showed it. And you may have noticed I've already started the SBC. It is 99 rated Eusebio, guys. 23 squads and featuring 94 rated squads. Those are the two squads that I got done as well. It is split between the 93s and the 94s inside of this SBC, along with an 86 rated loan and a bronze and a silver. Sell your bronze rares again. They're up a little bit on the market, or at least selling more often. As people are yet again doing this icon SBC, also with more to come, those bronze rares are going to maintain their higher price. That's just a side note. But this Eusebio card is a 99. I'm kind of wishing, you know, be just a little bit of me that I would not have done Mia Ham so fast, to be completely honest. This has got to be the best 99 rated SBC that we have had so far. I just wish he had press proven, but that's just a very nitpicky thing of me to say. Finesse, press, or sorry, finesse power shot, technical, and quick step. And we all know how Eusebio was earlier in the year. When that Centurions card was out, he was unfreaking believable. This card is long overdue. Long overdue for Eusebio, and he's so broken in his game. Even though, I don't even know what the price of this SBC is, right? I don't think Footbin has calculated it right now. I mean, you could probably do the math. A 94 rated squad, I believe. Um, there's actually on the SBC ratings combination page, which is right here on Footbin, they actually have added 94, 95, and 96 squads for the rating calculator. It's about 148,000 coins to do each of the 94 segments. I think this Eusebio is somewhere around like 3 million. He's cheaper than Mia Ham because it's only 23 squads, even though there's 94s. I mean, a 94 rated squad seems really hard, but after doing Mia Ham, I will say it gives me like a lot of hope to complete this SBC in a not that difficult fashion because if you can do a 93, you can probably do a 94. As long as you have some of those 95 and 96 rated cards that I was showing from objectives, and if you're opening the 84 10, and 85 tens daily and probably if you're being a little bit more probably like consistent in saving those 93 and above rated cards you'll be able to get this done crafting through it especially if it comes down to the 84 times 10 being unlimited repeatable but this one is one that feels worth it with that kind of a grind you know ahead of you for this SBC card his finesses are going to be unreal what's his curve 87 that's a little bit low but look at his shooting stats maxed out 99 his dribbling is insane and he's got great play styles and it's Eusebio you know he's going to be a beast technical plus on this card is going to be disgusting so try out the loan if you're like not sure if you want to undertake the whole entire SBC but this one's going to be really really hard to compete with in the end game if you like a smaller technical dribbler type of type of card like this instead of you know the Hollands everywhere right now in weekend league if you want to be somebody smaller shorter with the left stick this is going to be a great card for you and he's going to be so so good but of course we await the 84 10 and 85 10 situation to really give us some insight onto how craftable that SBC is going to be and how quickly a lot of us will be able to get it done with those SBCs. Now, we also had another player SBC yesterday, as we were expecting too, Martin Odegaard. Footy's premium. He's got finesse, technical, pinged pass, and tiki taka. A lot of people, myself included, did the Odegaard team of the season SBC, and that was a pretty good card, if we're being completely honest. It was not bad. It was better then than I think this one is now. The 93 pace and the 94 shooting, for me being 98 rated, pull me back a bit from the card. I love that he's 5'5". Five five. I love his play style pluses. I also like that he can play cam and center mid and center forward, which is nice for squad building. He has every passing play style, including pinged and tiki taka plus. He does not have relentless, which would be nice, although he does have 99 stats stamina so you're probably fine there in the midfield it's a really good card i just think it actually might be a little bit pricey he's coming in at 1 million coins according to footbin so if you think about that like the impact that this card is going to make in your team will it be one third of what eusebio's might be maybe it will be for you but this one feels more of an emotional card if you're an arsenal fan um or if you really loved odegaard's tots it's still craftable it's only eight squads which is kind of weird to say that a eight squad SBC is a million coins, but it's got 94 rated 93s in there as well, and some team of the season requirements. So that one's not as hype, especially I think the community agrees. It's about a 50-50 upvote to downvote ratio in Odegaard, whereas Eusebio is clearly thumbs up a lot more. 931 thumbs up to 153 thumbs down on his card. So Eusebio was the big SBC yesterday. Odegaard, 
is okay and it's there if you want to create it, get it done and craft it the 92 plus player pick did return and guys i'm gonna say it this is the one that i'm doing right now because the 90 plus player pick with the icons for me just has not been doing it the 92 plus though gives you a chance at those footies cards those 99 rated footies now with that being said since there's now five different teams of footies inside of this and it feels like ea's kind of turned up the weight on the pink cards the footies coming out of this after opening them yesterday a little bit more they made it more expensive instead of his 87 and an 88 it's now an 88 and 89 rated squads with a team of the season required so they're kind of requiring a little bit more of that SBC, but I still don't mind it. If the player SBCs are not your main priority, this is a great one to be ripping on repeat to try to pack some of those insane cards. And it does allow you to pack the footies team five cards that just came out yesterday. So that's kind of my, I think my chase is kind of shifting from maybe the R9 and the Dino, as we're going to talk about those great to the game cards maybe coming as SBC soon. So that's a reason to maybe steer away from this and steer more towards the 99 rated footies and some of the other 99s like Messi and team of the tournament and Mbappe 98 rated that would be in this instead of doing the icon pick. That's just my opinion at the moment for hitting these player picks, even though they're a little more expensive. Now let's talk about the team that came into packs team number five, as we just mentioned. I don't know. There's some good cards. We have four 99 rated as a part of this team. And there are some that we were expecting, right? Sun, Beckham, Lucio, Karchawi. Conte's really nice. And Kunku's got an absolutely insane dynamic image with the balloon. We love it. It looks crazy on the card. Um, I think there are some nice gems in this team. Like, obviously, Sonaldo, really expensive. He's 5 million coins. Really nuts card. Going to be very difficult to pack. He is the number one card out of this promo team. Conte, right? Remember his team in the tournament, which a lot of people had packed because it's in batch number three. Only has a two-star skill move and three-star weak foot on the card. This one's got a four-star, five-star with a nice boost. Press proven, intercept, and anticipate on this card. He is going to be busted good. So that's a really interesting card for me. I would love to pack this Conte. But the rest of the team, I mean, there are some other gems. I think Blanc, actually. Blanc's going to be one of the better cards in this team. Like Blanc, Beckham, and Kunku, Conte, Sun, Karchawi, and Lucio. There are some nice gems. But I think the fodder part of this team is, like, really fodder like Berbatov Todibo looks okay Risa Hierro Yunberg Shevchenko even he was the only one that I was able to pack yesterday kind of mid Adama Traore is a really interesting one because he can play center back but I can't imagine he's going to be that cracked in game either it just it feels okay it's it's not terrible I still think that maybe team three maybe team three was the best team of footies Sam Kerr, Ronaldo, 99, Usman Dembele, Company, Rio were cracked, Frimpong, Alaba, Socrates, Czech as a goalie, even Kelly Smith for a budget card was insane. I still think Team 3 might be up there as one of the best, and I'm even saying that with 99 Sun in this team. So, again, they feel a little bit difficult to pack, but as you look at a lot of the prices, Llorente's 100k, Renard's 280 they're not that bad. Um, of course, the higher tier, higher ticket ones like the Beckham, Karchawi, and Son, and Lucio are difficult because they're very expensive, very high rated, rare, and stuff like that. But the rest of the team is achievable, and that is one thing that we do like about this team of footies. Now, after that all being said, that was kind of all of yesterday's content in a nutshell, except for the fact that EA gave us a little welcome message, and of course, except for the fact that the servers went down again yesterday, and that is still probably the number one thing that is disappointing us about this game at the moment, is that every single day, what specifically bad on Fridays, right? When you log in, for content, the servers are dropping down for at least like 30 minutes. You get kicked out of the game. You can't access the app. It is really, really annoying, to be honest. And it was happening yesterday, of course, because it was a promo Friday. But that I just really hope that gets fixed because that's the number one thing taking away from the hype of this right now. That was a really bad player pick. But moving on with the last piece that we had to discuss from yesterday, it actually brings us into what we could be looking for today on this game. Relates to SBCs, and it was this right here. Here, this little intro screen when we logged in yesterday gave us a huge hint into something that is going to be coming this week because EA confirmed with this sentence right here check out SBCs this week as select greats of the game SBCs will be released. It was also nice that they gave us an 85 plus times three. I will say that I got nothing, but it was nice. But this is big. They're going to be releasing greats of the game icon SBCs this week, which of course you think, wow, Nate, there's a great potential there. R9, R10, Zidane, Vieira, Hullet, Cruyff, 
Roberto Carlos, Maldini, there's really big potential. Rivaldo even, Dog Leash from team number one of Great to the Game. There could be some really, really nuts cards re released as SBCs this week. Now, again, it said some select player SBCs could be released. And as you take a look at these cards, with the combination of them still being in packs and people knowing that they could be getting an SBC, you're seeing the prices drop. R9 was 5.6 to 6 mil yesterday. He's all the way down now at 5 million coins flat. Dino is 3.3. Zidane's under a mil. Hullet's 3 mil flat. A lot of these cards, Henri's only 500,000 coins. A lot of them are dropping because people are speculating that they're getting SBCs this week. You see these big drop-offs here, 2 mil down to 1.6. So I realize that these are all still in packs as a part of the best of batch number three. But at the same time, I think that news is going around that these cards could be getting SBCs and their prices are dropping. Now, again, like we said, this opens up the potential. There could be absolute bangers coming as SBCs. But is EA really going to drop a 98 rated R9 or a Dino right now after they've seemingly withheld some of those really high rated SBCs and they're just now starting to give us 99 rated footies icons like the Mia Ham and the Eusebio? It feels possible that they could drop one of these SBCs because, again, they've already dropped 99s in the SBC section for icons, but it maybe seems a little bit too good to be true for some of these players right now. That's where this turns a little bit bad, and it could be a problem, especially related to the one icon player SBC that we have leaked right now. It is Maldini, right? We talked about it yesterday. This tweet is still very valid, and I still believe that there is going to be a Maldini SBC coming, right? FIFA Trading Romania said, wait for kind of the, the waiting symbol, right? That's when he tweets this out, probably today, I would imagine it's going to be today. That would mean to me that we are going to be getting a Maldini SBC today, right? I, that's my guess, honestly. I'm thinking he's going to be tweeting this out today, so watch out for his Twitter. But if we're getting a Maldini SBC, I think straight away, especially with all the hype that he was portraying this here with all the bombazos, right? We were assuming a footies Maldini. We're talking 98 or a 99 rated icon footies Maldini card. And this simple message from EA, which could be insane, right? Maybe an R9, maybe an R10 SBC also could be really bad because what if they start off by giving us this Maldini as an SBC and not the footies version that I think maybe we weren't expecting, but we were kind of hoping for based off of that leak because until EA put out that text yesterday, we had not really thought about getting these icons as SBCs yet. I remember seeing the R9 and the Dino earlier on when they were first released during the Euros and thinking, all right, these are going to be our end game icon SBCs. They're probably not going to release 99 rated versions of them. And that seems to be what we could be seeing soon, but we didn't really think about how this could be an SBC when we were hoping for a higher rated version of the footy. So this could be really disappointing for a lot of people. And I'm just trying to set the expectation there. This would still be a decent SBC to do, but I think it would have to be like a million coins or, you know, think about it. This card was 2.2 mil because he was not re-released in packs and 2.2 million coins for this card would be way too much for an SBC because he wouldn't be worth that if he was re-released in packs. Like again, somebody like Ronaldo R9, and uh, Dino, their prices have dropped off millions because they've been released in packs. It's going to be really interesting to see how EA value these SBCs regardless of whoever's dropped. Are they going to value them like pre-price drop off when they were re-released in packs? Or are they going to actually um, value them kind of where they are on the market right now? That's what's going to be really interesting to see. And I think it does depend on the menu grind as well. But what I'm trying to say is if we get a Maldini 96 grade to the game, I wouldn't be surprised, and that would be a bummer. Still a good card, but I think our expectations are a little bit higher. If we do get a footies Maldini, then all this goes out the window, and it's great stuff, and it's great fun, and the price will be more, but it'll be okay because it's like a 98 or a 99 Maldini. But that's like big news. Again, it's big news, but it's also kind of like, ooh, this could be bad. So we'll just have to see how it plays out, but I'd have to imagine, guys, that we're getting two, three, maybe even four more Icon SBCs this upcoming week. They said that it's going to be this week, the last week of footies. So we will have to keep our eyes closely looking for those SBCs and the leaks as well. There will probably be leaks for those. Now, of course, with the craft of the menus and these types of SBCs, 
we're asking the question, how are we getting them done? And our beloved 84 and 85 times 10s are up for refresh today. But honestly, I don't know if your guys' games are looking like this. I'm recording this right now, um, you know, about an hour or two before it's about to be posted on YouTube. And you guys watching this might see this after the fact, but the expiration timers on the 84 and the 85 times 10 seem to be off, seem to be off by like 10 hours or so, because this is really, really weird here that it says five hours remaining for me. That's like, division rivals rewards time frame i don't know what has happened here if it's a visual glitch because sometimes sbcs and the refresh timers are visually glitched and then you'll refresh it log back in and it'll be there and it'll be fine but this looks weird because it's an expiration time so hopefully you have your 84 and 85 tens done but they should be refreshing at the content drop today they might just be going away early which shouldn't be happening but i don't know just check your sbc section but regardless we've had the 84 10 seven times a day and the 8510 three times a day. So we've had 10 of these per day for the last week. Of course, we want the unlimited repeatable 84 times 10 because that would make life so much more fun. Yes, the exchanges, yes, the 82 plus player picks are still here, but can you imagine unlimited 84 times 10s? Like guys, I say it every day on stream. After I get my 84 times 10s done, I just sit here and I'm like, I wish I could do more. It's so fun opening them. They're so easy to rinse and repeat, to craft into. You get exchanges built up by doing these 82 plus picks to clear out the exchanges with the golds you get in your club. It's just, oh, if you could do unlimited number of these, any SBC would be any price. You know, that's maybe why they made the Mia Ham and the Eusebio as expensive as they are because they'd be so much more craftable with this. That's the hope. That is the hope that it goes unlimited repeatable today. And then maybe the 85 times 10 goes up instead of three times a day, maybe like five times a day, right? Well, that sounds also a little bit too good to be true, doesn't it? So that's the hope. 84 to 10 unlimited. My guess is that we get 10 times per day of the 84 times 10 and they maybe just keep it at three of the 85 times 10 i'm just that's my that's my fearless forecast i don't want to be negative nancy i want to be positive peter i want unlimited 84 10 but i just i ea's been slowly dripping every single week we go from five to five to seven like what's next 10 probably eight maybe if they go for eight like come on man but we'll see guys i hope it's unlimited that'd be amazing it would bring so much more fun to the game at least for me because once i get the 84 and, and 85 times 10s done i'm like well what do i do next because that expectation of having those packs is there you do them you do them you do them and you kind of want more so i really hope that those are refreshed today as we all do now also one side note there is a, another upgrade pack that's coming back today as well and that is the footies team one through four upgrade pack that was dropped last wednesday the refresh timer on this one's not glitched in fact it is going to refresh at content today if you remember this one it was an 86 and an 88 rated squad it's a one player pack but it is a true guaranteed footies pack only from teams one through four not including what was dropped yesterday but that's still going to be worth crafting and doing chase a 99 neymar graham hansen cristiano ronaldo stuff like that i think that are the icons included in this as well i think the icons might be included there too so maybe pele you could pack out of that if you're in extremely extremely lucky that's probably the biggest parts of saturday content today to watch out for the 84 85 times 10 refresh and of course the player sbc is it maldini is it another great to the game player do we have any more news any more leaks and do we have another evo saturday evos have been pretty popular last time on saturday a couple weeks ago we had the passing mastermind that was released so we'll have to see if that goes away today and if we get something else um a part of that there's a possibility for that but really it's about what we just mentioned, the 8410, the Maldini, the 8510, and whatever other great to the game icons that they could release. Even I'll say this as an end, if they released Zidane, I know he's 900,000 coins. They're not going to make a Zidane SBC like this 900K. I, I would be surprised, guys, if the SBCs for these greats of the game looked like good value. They're going to be more expensive than the cards are on the market just because these cards have dropped off so much. That's the expectation I feel like we need to set for ourselves too. I wouldn't expect a Zidane to be a million coins. Like He might be 1.5 mil, but that's just because EA know how easy it is to craft in the menus. And sure, it's the end game and they want us to have fun, but at the same time, I don't think they're going to just like freely hand out these cards, even though it'd be nice if they kind of did since it's the end game and it's like well let us just run around with the crazy stuff because it's literally a month for the new game i understand that but again we know how ea like to do things 
and giving out cards for basically free is not one of the things that they really like to do all the time, especially when they're 97, 98, 99 rated. So that's just one thing I do want to mention. But if we have an unlimited 8410, hopefully even 10 times a day, it'll help the process a lot more. So that's the update right now for stuff on this game. Footies Team 5. I mean, I'm going to hit 84 times 10s and try to pack a few of these cards as well. If I didn't at least take a shot at packing 99 Sonaldo, then I would be remiss, right? Getting this Conte, that would be an insane midfield card. He's really rare too. Even Karchawi as a left back would be pretty insane. So good luck crafting packs, good luck chasing, and good luck crafting on all of your adventures inside of the menus this weekend. Good luck with Weekend League as well if you're playing through that. Make sure seven footies players. And oh, as you mentioned in yesterday's video, it is confirmed that for people who have been playing through this objective for the Weekend League objective, it does count if you use the evolutions. The evolutions do count as a part of your seven players you need. So that is very, very nice. Any footies Evo version does count. I don't know about in progress footies Evos, but I knew I do know about finished footies Evos. They do work so that is very very nice and we love that now ea nicest today with the sbc content that's the video for today guys if you did enjoy it, drop a thumbs up on it comment below if you have any questions and subscribe if you're new football is back enjoy the games today and have a great saturday guys i will see you guys in the video tomorrow i will see you there it's been nathan with account catch you guys later peace out